G'day everyone, welcome to Ruts 4x4. On this instructional video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at recovery gear and the basic items that you should be taking with you every time you go out on the track. All right, so we're just gonna start with some, um, some of the bare necessities and we'll just move up a little bit from there. So one of the first things you need to go out and buy is a tire deflator. Now they come in all different sorts. Um, you can buy things like Storms, they're, they're an automatic uh, preset uh, little device that goes on your valve and let it down to whatever you set it to. We can go out and get one of these sorts of things, these easy deflators. Real good, um, remove the valve, let the air out really quick and you can stagger the pressures on your tyres. Now, if you're going to be letting your tyres down, you're going to need to pump them back up at the end of it. I have seen people out there before that have let their tyres down and then they've got to drive on the bitumen up to a service station. You can do it, don't recommend it, go out and buy yourself an air compressor. It can range from a cheap one to an expensive one, doesn't really matter. I can't get mine out of the car to show you, so I've got my hose just to resemble that it's here. Alright, so moving on from the air compressor, one of the next things you're going to need is you're going to need some form of getting yourself out of a bog. Now we've covered it in a, uh, a previous video, um, but I will raise your attention to a receiver hitch. Simply uh, goes into the tow bar of your car, has a bow shackle on the back of it, make sure that it's rated. Okay, so this one here has a rating on it. Uh, working low limit of uh, 4.7 tons, so it's the bow shackle. One piece of advice I will give with these, take it off the back of your car, the, the bow shackle I mean. I've lost countless ones uh, out on the track, so if you do see any out there, please whack it in an envelope and send it to me, I'll give you my address. Moving on from there, you're going to need a snatch strap. Alright, so here's one here. Make sure it's the right size for your vehicle. There's no point going out and getting an 11 ton uh, snap, rated snatch strap if you just driving around standard it'll work more like a chain um, the idea of a snatch strap it's a big elastic band it'll uh, it'll it stores potential energy another thing that is vital which you don't see many people with out on the track is a shovel now go to Bunnings probably the best place and the cheapest place to get your shovel one piece of advice try and get a nice long-handed shovel it's easy to get under your vehicle with especially if you're on beaches if you go out and you buy those little um, the little collapsible ones, they're great, they pack away real easy, but you find that you're laying under your car. Still works, just depends how much work you want to put into it. Next up from there, if you get yourself a winch, which we do recommend that you get, you're going to need gear to go along with that. So one of the first things is a, um, is a winch, uh, sorry, a tree trunk protector. Refer to our, uh, our winching video for uh, a greater explanation on all the gear to go with it. So you're going to need a uh, tree trunk protector, winch extension strap, it is different to a snatch strap, it, is a, it has no spring, no elasticity in it. Things you're going to need for, your, for winching, winch extension strap, make sure like any recovery gear, or harp on about it, but make sure that it's rated. Winch extension strap is different to a snatch strap, not just in colour. The uh, winch extension strap is a solid piece of material. Um, solid is in the way that it doesn't have any elasticity in it like a snatch strap does. So it's more like a really compact flexible chain. You need to take some bow shackles with you. Again, make sure that they're rated. The thing that you're going to need to go along with your, your winching gear is a snatch block. They come in different types. So I've got this one here. Or well, these two, I should say. They are different. Again, make sure they're rated. We will show you how to use those in the winching video. So uh, have a look at that. The other thing to go with your winching, uh, your winching gear is a winch dampener. Okay, so the idea of a winch dampener basically is to uh, just drop uh, if, you, if your winch cable breaks, it'll drop and bring everything down to the ground quickly and safely. You can also use those, and we do advise that you use those with a snatch strap. It just acts as a big air brake. Great little, one great little, uh, little thing you'll find in most uh, recovery kits is gloves. Guys, you may not want to put them on. Put them on. The amount of times that you, you'll be sliding your hands over something and you'll get, you get sticks and splinters and stuff, they just, sa they just save all of that. They're brilliant to have. If you've got them, throw them on. Okay, the other thing I've got behind me, which you probably noticed, is a high lift jack, or kangaroo jack. And in that bag there is an exhaust jack. Now, personally, I prefer exhaust jacks over high lift jacks, but uh, if you tune into one of our other videos, we'll show you the differences and the safe way of using both of those pieces of uh, recovery equipment. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have fun out on the tracks.